Today, we're going to start in Unit 6. 6a is described the relationships among the solutions of an equation, zeros of a function, x intercepts of a graph, and factors of a polynomial expression. We're also going to be doing talking about 6b today, so be ready for that. So this is 6a. Uh, I'm just going to jump straight into examples, find the factors from the given zeros. Now factors, factors are from an equation and we find them by looking at the graph, looking at zeros. Um, some of you remember factoring from algebra 1. Uh, we're actually going to use the calculators to factor. But given that these are x-intercepts, or that it's also called zeros, zeros, x-intercepts, solutions, and roots are all the same thing. They're all the same. Interchangeably, we can use them. So these are all the x-intercepts. To find the factors, all we do is we set each x-intercept equal to x. And now we just need to solve, make it equal to 0. So take the x-intercept, make it equal to 0. For negative 2, x equals negative 2, the factor is x plus 2. The factor for when x equals 4, make it equal 0, x minus 4. So the factor is x minus 4. Next, x equals 1 third. 1 third is a little different. Well, well, we can start off by subtracting 1 third. So that's not any different. But now we don't want fractions. I don't want fractions in here. So then, to get rid of a fraction, we multiply by the denominator, base 3, and distribute it in. So the factor for this is 3x minus 1. So each factor, so each what's in parentheses, these are the factors. x plus 2, x minus 4, and 3x minus 1. For example, 2. What is the apparent roots of the equation graph on the coordinate plane? Roots, these are x-intercepts. Our x-intercepts at negative 1. Three. From this, I may ask, find the factors. So, our factors for when x equals negative one. Make it equal zero. Our factor is x plus 1. Our x intercepts at 3. Our factor is x minus 3. So those are our factors. And that is pretty much all 6a is. 6b is determined the factored form of the polynomial expression from the x intercepts of the graph of this corresponding function. All right, let's jump right into it. So from 6a, we know how to factor. So when the x-intercept is negative 4, at the end, 4 to get its factor. x plus 4 equals 0. When we have a fraction, the same thing, subtract 1 half, and we can't have fractions with our factors, so multiply by the denominator. 2x minus 1 equals 0. So, factored form. It's a function. Function f of x. f of x equals first factor is x plus 4. Factored me 
means multiplying, so 2x minus 1. We multiply it together, and this is the factor in the form of the polynomial function. Okay, last, last one, last example. We're going to do the exact same thing, write a polynomial function in factored form. We have 4 mult 2. This means there is a double x intercept at 4. So this is like having 4, 4, and negative 3 for your x intercepts. So we have to write the factored form of this. We have when x equals 4, the factor is x minus 4. And when you have another one, it's going to be x minus 4. And the last one, when x intercepts negative 3, we add 3. So since it is a function, we need f of x. You have g of x. C of x doesn't matter. As long as you have a f of x, something of x, that's a function. x minus 4 times x minus 4 times x plus 3. But some of you right now are saying, Mr. Johnson, we have 2x minus 4s. So why can't we rewrite it? Well, we certainly can. We have x minus 4 squared. We have two of them. And x plus 3. There would be my final answer. Well, come to, quite, come, come to class with any kind of questions. Thank you. The last problem here, this is what your quiz is going to be on, this last example. Quiz is on example four. 